In 2011, the International Energy Agency heralded the dawn of a golden age of gas. The United States is already riding the shale gas wave. This has meant falling gas prices and carbon emissions and greater US energy independence. In fact, by 2017, the United States could become the world's biggest oil and gas producer. This could mean a redrawing of global energy maps. But the US shale gas boom is having some interesting effects in Europe too. For instance, unwanted US coal is finding its way onto European markets, driving a temporary coal rush. More importantly, the energy competitiveness gap is widening between Europe and the US. EU industrial gas prices are now four times higher than in the United States. So should Europe now step on the gas to play catch up? The EU holds an estimated 7% of the world's shale gas reserves. While some European countries have already banned fracking, Others are debating whether to explore and exploit their reserves. Shale supporters argue it will increase energy security. This is important in countries such as Poland, which rely on big gas-producing neighbours. They also maintain that shale will reduce emissions and lead to lower gas prices. But detractors warn that low gas prices could themselves put pressure on renewable energy investment. And that might threaten emissions reduction in the long run. They also argue that fracking could contaminate groundwater with heavy metals and chemicals, or even cause seismic effects. As national governments debate what to do, European policymakers are having their say in the shale debate. The European Parliament has already called for strong rules to protect the environment and public health. And the European Commission will shortly reveal stakeholders' and citizens' views on shale gas. Will shale have its day in the sun? Or is the promise of the golden age of gas a false dawn for Europe?